What's up guys, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and in today's video I have an exciting story to tell you about a strange little creature that crept into my garden one day. But before I begin, hit that subscribe button and get ready to do the starter questions on your screen right now. So this story happened about a month ago when I was out on a walk and I spotted something strange in the corner of my eye. I stopped and turned around to find a brown spiky ball on the side of the road. It was a hedgehog. I assumed it was dead, but when I got a closer look, to my surprise, it was alive and breathing. I was shocked because it was the middle of the day and as you may know, hedgehogs are nocturnal. Nocturnal means that they normally sleep during the day but come out at night time. This means when you see a hedgehog walking around in the middle of the day, it often means bad news. I'm dying. Help me. I examined it a little bit closer and could see that it was breathing a little bit strangely and looked like it was in pain. I wondered if it was sick <coughs> or if it had been hit by a car. It didn't look like it was going to survive and I almost left it behind. But I didn't because I remembered something strange that I had done the day before. Randomly, the day before, I had went to the garden centre and spotted some hedgehog food. So I decided to buy it. But why? This was during lockdown. I was very bored and buying lots of random things. Don't judge me. Here he is. I can see that his eye and nose look like they're a little bit blocked and he's breathing kind of funny. So I'm gonna bring him to the vet and hopefully they can help him. I think I'm gonna call him Spike. Hang in there, Spike. Okay, so here we are at the vets. I'm gonna take Spike the Hedgehog in here and hopefully they can help him out. I did think about painting Spike blue and calling him Sonic the Hedgehog instead, but then I thought I might get thrown into prison for animal cruelty. And also he wasn't fast enough. <clears throat> Hedgehogs are cute little mammals that can be found in Europe, Asia and Africa. Unfortunately, when you're a tiny, cute little animal, there's many other predators who want to, oh, I don't know, eat you alive. Yum, yum, yum. Love a good hedgehog. For those of you who don't know, predators are animals that eat other animals. Hang on a minute, there's, there's animals that eat hedgehogs? Ouch, that gotta hurt. Animals that eat hedgehogs include foxes, ferrets and even owls. I knew there was something freaky I didn't like about owls. I mean, just look at them. Thankfully, hedgehogs have a secret weapon to defend themselves. Thank goodness, I was, I was really worried for those little guys. When hedgehogs feel like they're in danger, they curl up into a ball. And because they're covered in spines, they basically turn into a spiky, sharp, deaf ball of, of knives that hurts anything that tries to eat it. Hedgehogs are also smart and sleep during most of the day, when most of those scary animals are awake. They sleep in cozy little nests that they build themselves out of leaves and grass that can be found under rocks, in dens and under hedges. Duh, they're called hedgehogs. Hedgehogs are omnivores, which means that they eat plants and other animals. Hedgehogs will eat fallen down nuts, fruits and berries, but will also eat pretty much any animal that's smaller than them. <laughs> Hedgehogs are kind of bullies, picking somebody your own size, such as frogs, mice, beetles, worms, slugs, and even sometimes eggs. And for some reason, they also seem to go crazy about cat food and go around at night time stealing people's cat food. I guess hedgehogs are cat food burglars. Hello, we're back here at the vet. In an entire month, I had no idea it would have taken so long, but we have been called today to tell us that Spike the Hedgehog has made a full recovery. So we're gonna go in and check on him and see how he is. Today is a big day that we're going to release Spike back into our garden. It's been an emotional journey. He's looking pretty chilled out. Spike the Hedgehog. We're going to release him at the bottom of the avenue and give him a little bit of cat food and then she on his way. We're just giving Spike one last meal before he goes back into the wilderness. Just one last little meal. I think he is asleep. He's very lazy. There he is. <laughs> Hello. Oh, wow. oh, he smells it. Ooh, spiny.
We release Spike back in the garden near to where we found him. And just like that, he was gone. I felt happy to have helped Spike and given him a second chance at life, but a little part of me felt sad to see him go. <sighs> I couldn't help but wonder if Spike the Hedgehog was still out there somewhere. One month later, I bought a night vision trail camera which I set up outside with a small bowl of cat food, hoping to spot an old friend. And you'll never guess who showed up. small spiny mammals that live in nests. They are nocturnal, which means they sleep during the day and come out at night. Hedgehogs are omnivores, meaning they eat both plants and other animals. And so we've come to the end of our video about hedgehogs. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if there's something you'd like to see in future videos, put it in the comments below. Wow, must be hard for hedgehogs having to survive outdoors all day, but back in the Stone Age time, people had to live in a very similar way. Why not check out some of my Stone Age survival videos and learn how to make your very own Stone Age home. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching, see you next time.